Hey guys, Prowl1701, and today we're going to talk about the top four lightsaber replicas that are on my want list that I'm interested in getting. I'm st I haven't picked up a new saber in a while, and it still might be a little bit before I get another one, but I do have four that I am interested in picking up, and in fourth place is another Manticore. Because I do miss my Manticore a lot, it was a great hilt. Um, and I want it more for display purposes because it's just a beautiful looking saber. It's not it's not as comfortable to hold as you would think. I'm not, it's not very uncomfortable either, especially if you keep a cover tech off of it. But it's still not quite as comfortable to hold as you would think by looking at it. But it looks beautiful. And I'm talking about the original one, the silver and black one. And it's got a stunningly beautiful emitter. I love that window emitter. Uh, and it looks good, I think, with the high profile pommel or the low profile pommel. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not quite sure which one I would put. I had a low profile on my original. I don't know which what I would get on my new one. Um, and I'm not quite sure what blade color I'd want on it. Uh, I'm thinking maybe green, the tri green. Uh, and I don't know if I'd want it with sound or just stunt because I mostly want it to hang on the wall. Uh, it's just a nice looking saber, and I'd really like to have it back in my collection. Uh, number three on my list is another um, Eon V2 probably two of them so I can make a Phantasm staff. Uh, I sold my old ones because I didn't like the fact they had the standard switches on them and they stuck out like a sore thumb. Just having those black switches there really irked me. So I would have to get them now since you can get stunt sabers with the AV switches installed. It used to be you couldn't do that, <clears throat> but you can now. So I'd like to get um, uh, two of those, not the LEs, just the regular all silver ones uh, with the silver activation switches and I'm not sure about blade colors I'd either do I know I'd do violet amethyst I'm not sure if I'd want the other one to be the triarctic blue or the triconsular green but it'd be one of those because I do think blue and purple and green and purple go really well together and I could have them for you know single saber use or I could have them as a staff and I just I like the v2 saber because it's narrower and the uh, the V2 Eon and uh, Dominic's are both really good for spinning. If you want to practice, get out. Uh, having that narrower hilt really makes them nice to practice with as a staff or as a single saber. So I'd like to get that back. Number two on my list is the uh, Electrum Sabers Remnant. I don't have never owned an Electrum Sabers saber, but I'm really interested in that one. It's, it's my favorite one that they have out, and it looks really good. I like the customizable options for it. I love the activation switch with the different lights and buttons and how you slide your fingers to do different things with it. It just looks like a fascinating saber. Uh, they just they don't really do sales very often. I remember being absolutely furious the last May 4th. I was hoping they'd do a sale on it, and the only sale they did on it was free weathering, and I don't want a weathered one. I want a clean one. I was actually very mad about that. So I'm, I'm bound and determined I'm not going to buy it until they do some kind of sale on it, and I'm holding firm to that. But I do want it. It looks sharp. I'd probably get it with the uh, copper accents. I do like the, or is it the brass? The brass, actually. I think I think the brass accent's what I like with it. It looks that more gold look. I like that better. But I do want one uh, eventually. Again, I like the customizable options it has. It looks really nice. And the number one on, one, the number one on my list <clears throat> <clears throat> is the Saber Forge Crystal Reveal Prodigal Sun because I do need a Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi Saber in my collection and I absolutely love that one. And since thin necks aren't exactly something I practice with anyway, I've gone over before, uh, as much as I love the way a thin neck looks, I don't like to actually spin them because they have to have that thicker blade, that thick... Uh, that thick blade, that heavy grade blade, and I don't really care for the extra weight when I'm spinning. Uh, this one would definitely be a showpiece. You know, uh, sometimes I might have the blade in it just to turn it on and hold it for a little bit. Most of the time, they'd probably have the blade out and be put sitting on a stand. Uh, but I really, I really like this newer version of it they've done, where it's got the chrome on it. It's got the lights that work on the AV box, and I love that when you pop it open, it pops open spring loaded and has the crystal hidden in there. Uh, it's a little pricey, and it is currently sold out at the moment, but I'm signed up to where it'll notify me when it comes back in stock. But that is definitely the number one saber on my want list right now. The Saber Forge Crystal Reveal Prodigal Sun. The only thing I haven't decided 
is whether to get it in their green or their lime green, and I'm going to need Sidious' help with that. Um, yes, my buddy Sidious Savers. We've known each other for a while. He's a good guy. I always enjoy uh, talking to him on YouTube. I hope he's doing well. Um, when I get ready to make that decision, I'm probably going to have to uh, confer with him and find out uh, whether the regular green or the lime green would be a better blade color. But that, I do want it. I don't know when I'm going to get it, but it's it's on my list for eventually. So those are my top four savers that I am interested in picking up at some point. Uh, which of these are you most interested in? Uh, what else or do you think would be something you would like to see me get? Uh, click, you know, comment down below. Let me know uh, how is your saber collections going. I know a lot of you who watch my videos, y'all have also been saber collecting for a while. Curious to see if y'all have picked up anything new lately. Uh, check out my other channel, Another Sci-Fi Guy where I talk about all things, well, basically Doctor Who lately, but I talk about all things in sci-fi in general, but mostly Doctor Who. And uh, most importantly, stay safe and thank you for watching.